All right, guys, I'm going to walk you through. I'm going to walk you through, guys, how I fixed this dash pad. But I just wanted to come back and film this and let you know, hey, you know, instead of running all over trying to find you a dash pad, and they hard to find these days, and you find one that's going to be cracked, then you pay somebody else to do it. Hey, all it is, you know, these 79 Buicks, any dash pad. This, this, I'm just a Buick guy, so hey, you know, sue me. You got these, you take these bolts out, you take all of this stuff off. All of this is going to be on the video, on the 79 uh, Limited. You pull this dash pad off, take everything off. And then, you know, you do these spots that need to be done. You know, and then you can, uh, you know, you probably spend, uh, honestly, you're probably going to spend about 80 bucks with the dye and everything. You know, I know some people have their dashes wrapped and whatever else, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, hey, 80 bucks. If you find a good dash pad, somebody's probably going to want 150, 200 bucks for a clean one. Then you got to hope it don't get cracked while they're shipping it to you. So you could do this yourself, guys. That's why I make these videos for guys to be able to come in here and say, hey, I can do this dash pad myself. Uh, I'm going to make another video showing you how to uh, prep this for dye. But I just want to show you guys, instead of you paying somebody, you know, two, three hundred dollars to fix your dash pad or paying that much for one, guys, pull that dash out yourself, man. All you need is a screwdriver, you know, an Allen wrench, you know. And about an hour or two, man, just pull your dash out, you know, do this and, and treat, and man, y'all quit spending all that money. I know they mad at me for showing you guys these tricks, but hey, this is how I do it. All right, so I'm coming at you today. I'm going to have to repair this dash pad <coughs> and I have never took one of these off before so if I break it know that I broke it. Alright, so if you see right in here, uh, I don't have my light, but it's a little Allen, it's an Allen screw rod in here. And it's one on each side. <clears throat> so you pull that. And then this piece <clears throat> this piece will come right out of there. So I'll wash this up and uh, clean it up real good and guys what I like to do is put my screws back in my plates in fact you keep these both together just sits there like that so I'll put these back in here 
All right, so I'm going to be uh, <clears throat> trying to repair these cracks on this dash pad. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to clean this up. And then I'll come through and uh, try to get this uh, repaired here, these cracks out of this dash pad. All right, so I'll start off here with the wax and grease remover. I just want to clean this area up. Pretty good here, and then uh, let this dry. So on the piece there, I was able to save uh, most of this. It tore a little bit here, but it should still. This piece should go back on there. I put this in a plastic bag, baggy, uh, little Ziploc baggy. Make sure it don't get messed up. And then that way when I re-dye this, I can get all in this area and get all of this cleaned up and all of this to be just dyed in one piece here. So <clears throat> just take your time, try to take it off. And then when I get ready, I just put a few dabs of uh, the trim glue I use for, for the interior and uh, glue it back down before I get ready to put that piece uh, back on there. So. All right, coming at you today with this 79 limited dash pad. And I know a lot of guys, they don't like my videos. They say you don't do things this way and you don't do them that way. And that ain't the way you do things. You know, you don't use glue. You don't. It's fine. I'm good at taking criticism, but hey, this is the way I learn to do my dash pads, so I'm just going to come in here with baking soda and uh, super glue. I'm in here with bacon and super glue. That pad is cracked all the way around there. Look at that. See that? Let me push on this now. You know this is old and brittle. Easy to crack. Now that I got that baking soda come in here with a probably could use something better than 800 but this is 800 grit sandpaper see that so I'm going to repair this whole uh, dash pad that's cracking around here so all right, so these are smaller cracks. I'm quite sure if you got bigger cracks, you probably have to, you won't look as, as simple as what I just made it look there with bigger cracks. But this, this dash pad, I'm gonna go down to the bigger crack here in a minute. But this bad dash pad only had small cracks in it. So look at that. 
See that? It was cracked. I was still cracked here. Didn't notice that till after I cleaned it out. So now that I sprayed that cleaner on there, I gotta let this dry before I come on around here. But I didn't notice that it came all the way back to here. So that's fine. Now, what I could do here too, uh, you probably can't see here, but the crack stopped there. What I could do to make sure that this stopped cracking, and even right here, I could just get a real small drill bit and drill right at the end of where that's cracking at to make sure it don't continue cracking no more. But I'm quite sure when I get done with this, and I still see here I got a few spots that it actually missed. So I'll come over this one last time. I'll blow it off with some air. Yeah, see, look at that. Yeah, but this is how I do it, guys. So look at that where that's... It's all cracked in here, so... Let me zoom in on you. It's all cracked in there. No, that's nice. Look like I could still put a little bit more right in here. But uh, that's nice and solid now. Not cracking no more. So it's the way it's done, guys. All right. So I decided to bump up to a little higher grid here. So this is like 220, 220 grit. So, probably could have went 320, but I didn't, I don't have any 320 in the sheet, in the sheet paper that I got here, so I didn't want to waste a full 6 inch uh, pad. A sanding pad, 320 on here, but this 220 it comes out fine. Now look at that. I'm pressing on it; it's not cracking back through. Now I just got to figure out if I can get the color of this dash matched. Uh, and once I get the dash dash matched, I match the color matched. I come in and shoot another video of uh, me prepping and uh, and I'll probably add what I did here onto that new video but this is just a quick post video just showing you how to fix those DAS pads so real simple guys I know guys be like well you know glue <laughs> don't know oh, yeah whatever Hey, if it works, glue and baking soda, and this is just the cheap stuff, so. Hey, I stole it out the refrigerator. I better, you know, I pulled it on the pad there, this, you know, but I think I better put it back in the refrigerator before I get beat up around here, so. All right, so I also, I did a piece here, a couple of these was cracked, I did in between there, these other pieces are missing, I'm not going to worry about that, I also had a crack going on here, I got that in there, the rest of this dash pad is looking really great, but on my 77 that I'm doing, it's got a few more cracks than this, uh oh, do I got another one, nope, I thought I had one right there. Just look like a strand or something is trying to play tricks with my eyes. But uh, that's it, guys. You like these videos? Hey, I might not do it like everybody else. And no, I might not use the fancy and uh, proper stuff that they sell for this. 
I just use what makes the job get done. Press on that, it's not cracking. Once I die that, you'll never be able to tell. So, all right guys, if you like these videos, subscribe. Thank you, have a good day.